Do you know that we have been driving by a Connecticut gem hundreds of times over the years and didn't even know it existed? Are you talking about the Connecticut Historical Society, Society Museum in Hartford, right where we live? Uh, good guess, but I'm actually talking about the Hartford Artisans Weaving Center at 42 Woodland Street. It's an incredible place where artisans are hard at work making some beautiful woven pieces. And get this, most of the artisans are blind. Well, let's take a look. These beautiful pieces were hand-woven by a special group of people. We have 36 artisans, over 50 volunteers. It's just a, it's a wonderful whoosh of kindness when you walk through the door. That's Katie Glass, the executive director of the Hartford Artisans Weaving Center. This is a place for people who are low vision, no vision, and over 55. Come and have a place to be creative, to feel important, to feel empowered, to feel supported. Um, and they come and they weave and they make the beautiful things you see behind me and, and on me. And um, they're just the most wonderful group of people. How does a blind person know how to weave? By touch. Oh, it's just the most amazing thing, by touch. They can understand uh, the pattern. Um, so it's, it's just the most special place. So this is our artisan room. Um, this is where our low vision um, blind um, people come in. And this is where a lot of our volunteers will hang out to help them in any, any way that they need to. Um, you can see our volunteers are threading a loom, getting it set up for our artisan to come and weave. And um, this room is, I love this room because of the noise. The noisiest, peaceful place you'll ever be. That's Joanna Boulder, one of the artisans who's been blind since 2002. She learned to weave after she went blind. And what are you making there, Joanna? I'm doing a scarf. And how, how do you do this, Joanna? I, cu I couldn't do this and I'm sighted. A lot of praying. <laughs> a, a lot of praying? <laughs> um, you know, there's such good teachers here. They explain everything to you, they show you how to do it, and you do it. How long have you been coming here? It's coming up on seven years in February. And what is this place to you? What is it? It saved my life. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know, it was a big adjustment losing my vision. And this was my birthday present. A friend heard about it, brought me here on my birthday. I put in an application and they accepted me and I can do something fun. I can do something I want to do, right. you know. So it's made a big difference in my life. Now I look you... forward to coming. Ana Cuevos is also an artisan. She's been blind since birth. This is the first time I am involved in a visual arts program. And I did my whole education in public school. So I but I didn't have the opportunity to do anything related to the arts, um, not in high school, not in college. And then I found this place, and I'm, I'm in a visual, I'm in a, in, a field, in a field, I'm going to say, that is very, very visual, and I have no vision, but it's a very good feeling to make stuff by hand. Jacob Baker is a volunteer here, helping the artisans. I came about five years ago and uh, fell in love with the place immediately. So I said, I have to do this. It's my happy place. It's your happy place. Did, you, did you know how to loom before you came here? I know nothing about weaving. I've, I, and I don't weave. You I, don't weave? I only help by setting up the looms and doing the warps and helping the weavers. But I have no interest in weaving personally. It's not funny. Well, it's the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I, everyone here exemplifies my favorite word, kind. Mm. So that's why I come. And the products they make are so beautiful. They're incredible. You know, when you look around at the stuff, it's just amazing to think that uh, all this has happened in this room. Right. How does uh, someone get involved in this if they're if they're seeing this this piece and they're interested in like maybe volunteering yeah. or or if they want to become an artisan? Yeah, come see us. That's the best way. We love giving tours. We love having visitors. Um, come see us. Come experience what this place is really like. We love our artisans. We have something of a wait list for artisans, so we don't want to discourage anybody, but we do. It's really that kind of a, a place. It's that popular of a program. So come see us. Come see us. Come see us. We are on 42 Woodland Street. Um, we love a visitor. We love a tour. Um, and we love sewers, and we love our volunteer. We just come see us. That look, it looks fake, right? It's well, just, or like a picture or a painting. It's amazing that that's weaving. It's just it's beautiful. beautiful right? yeah. You can also stop by in to buy things. Yes, they're open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 6, and then Friday, 10 to 3. We're going to have a link for more information right on BetterCT.com.